It's Rhythmic Soul Radio. I am Marco Nobles. Uh, I have uh, the guest line open, and uh, it is an honor to be able to talk to two wonderful people um, that's going to shed some light on theater as uh, we continue to recover from uh, the COVID pandemic, and, and we're able to go outside. We're able to go outside and inside to the theater, uh, whether it's going to Broadway or going to more local community theater, off-Broadway, etc. And I have joining me Peg Shula Armstrong, who is the curator of the Crossroads Theater Family Series. And we will talk more about Free Family Saturdays and some of the other events that are a part of that. And I'm also joined by the the woman who is going to be receiving a special Tony Award um, as is fitting for her legendary status. She is the only you know, black female publicist that is a member of the Association of Theatrical Press Agents and Producers um, and has been so for over 50 years. She's also produced a couple of shows in addition to working on over 100 shows on Broadway over the years. Irene Gandy is with us as well. So first of all, thank you both for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Um, and thank you for the wonderful introduction. You know, I'm very honored to receive the, the Excellence Award in theater, but I pay homage to Douglas Stern Award, talking about black theaters um, mm -hmm. uh, in black community theater, because black Broadway, there's 10 shows, black shows on Broadway this year, but whether they make it or not, which we hope we hope all want everyone to make it. But I have to say, if it wasn't for the regional theaters or, or, or like I said, the black theater companies, like Crossroads, mm -hmm. like the Negro Ensemble Group was, like New Heritage Theater, like Spectrum, they still continue to bring uh, quality theater to um, to the community, to all communities. You know, I think sometimes we get caught up, Marco, you know, you and I, young kids, things have changed. You know, kids can go and see what they want. This is not slavery. So mm -hmm. we can see whatever they want, we want. Mm -hmm. But the mm -hmm. fact of the matter is, um, I don't think that the, uh, the theater, the black theater companies are waiting for Broadway to open because they have already been in place and, uh, and still, you know, still providing that mental health and that emotional well-being to our communities. So um, that's, yeah. And you know, it's funny, a peg, I, I'm, you know, a peg who's part of Crossroads, you know, Peg reminded me that I worked with you um, when you were on Broadway, Peg. That's right, that's right. Let's, uh, let's give a shout out to uh, Albert Poland who brought us together. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Um, Irene, one, one more thing. I mean, because you have such a history of starting out with Negro Ensemble Company and 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 looking at the growth of of theater in general, um, with on Broadway to now the point we have ten you know black shows or black led shows on Broadway, whether they're directed, stars, playwrights, etc., mm -hmm. black themed. Uh, but like you said, there's always been the the crossroads, the uh, the new federal theater, Woody King, also receiving a special Tony mm -hmm. Award as well uh, for what uh, that legacy has been to get us to the point where we have 10 black shows on Broadway because there was a long time where we couldn't crack that quote unquote glass ceiling, so to speak. Well, it's, like, it's you know, I always say that, I mean, I'm very, very touched by it because I think everybody's work should be validated in the highest form of excellence. And I think people keep saying the crack, the code, it's, it's like, it's about money. It's about green, no matter how passionate we are. You know, if you go into a store at Marco and you see that t-shirt, you, you know, no matter how passionate the guy's not gonna say, oh, you know, I want you to have it. First thing he's gonna say, you got some, you have some money? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You have some money, you have to, have, you know, and we, and that's what I'm saying, you know, about the company, you have to invest in your own career as well. But um, I'm thrilled that I lived to see 45th Street lit up with all of these shows. And whether they last a day or last a year, the fact that there is, there's no such thing as failing. There's all, there's always going to be challenges on any shows. But the fact of the matter that they're here, no matter what, they're here for a day or whatever. I'm not even thinking about how long are they here. But to see it and to get your daughters to see it and, mm -hmm. and, 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 and Peg's daughters to see it. Because for me, diversity is not just black and white. Diversity mm -hmm. is vision mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. everyone. 
you know, and I, and uh, so, you know, cause you might have a little, people just think they can't do anything. I think that's, I think that's the, the beauty of, of, of community theater and community. That's why it's called and not to downgrade it. It's like, mm -hmm. it's, it's a place that you can perform. Right. You know, because no matter how many shows, I mean, Douglas Turner Ward provided the, um, I, I say this, Woody King provided the productions, Douglas Turner Ward provided production plus to getting you to the union. So that's very important. You know, you need to be seen. And if you can't be seen, you need to work. So. Right. And, and you know, it, it's important that, as you mentioned, the families are exposed, you know, at, at an early age, one, exposure to culture is important um, for, for young people. And, and Peg, you are the curator of the family series for Crossroads. Um, talk about the importance of of how Crossroads gets to the family in terms of what you do. Because Irene mentioned being able to have free shows or free family Saturdays is coming up September 25th and October 2nd. Um, and there are other activities uh, as a part of the family series. So talk about the mission of Crossroads to really impact the family and expose the family to theater. Um, so I would love to just take a step back and um, clarify that um, I brought my 16 years of, of producing experience for young audiences to Crossroads and I was mm. thrilled to do that. Um, but the ultimate arbiter of, uh, of our series this year is Ricardo Khan. Mm. Uh, he and I had lovely conversations about who was out there and who we thought best um, we wanted to, um, you know, to start the inaugural Crossroads Festival Theater off with a bang. Um, so we've got a great lineup this year. And um, what I really love about what Rick has done in terms of reimagining what Crossroads is, um, you know, traditionally in the non, uh, in the in the regional theater model, you do a series of shows in a row from September to June. And um, and what we've done is instead uh, created this festival series. There are going to be two main stage productions. Those are ticketed. Um, and then we're partnering with all different kinds of community organizations to do uh, family, re I'm sorry, uh, community readings. Those community groups will bring, um, you know, any work that they want to share with the public to get an ear around, to hear how it sounds, um, you know, performed live with an audience. And then last but absolutely not least um, is the family, Free Family Saturdays. And that's the part that's near and dear to my heart, because what that does is bring the community together with the highest quality performing artists who have uh, dedicated themselves to working with young audiences. And um, it gives, it gives multi-generations a chance to come together. And um, you know, the more, the more arts going experiences you have as a family, um, the more that engenders the love of the arts uh, in our young people and, um, and people can make memories as families together. Absolutely. And I, I should make sure that people are aware when we mention Ricardo Khan, Ricardo Khan is the co-founder and director of Crossroads Theater. Um, yes. So so people understand that. Um, so let's just want to kind of go back. The Free Family Saturdays are, are kind of the, the, the highlighted, quote unquote, uh, portions, which is near and dear to your heart, as you said, um, September 25th and October 2nd. Are those the October bookings? 9th, actually. I'm sorry. We have three. Three. September 25, October 2, and October 9. Okay, great. And, and then, and within all of that is uh, the actual festival, which is which features all the family programming that you mentioned in terms of the community readings and, and all of those types of yes. activities. Also, I just want people to know family series of that that Peg has created is not just like no, there's nothing nothing there's nothing wrong with Bo, Bozo the Clown and McDonald, but you know <laughs> um, this family series will feature. You know, um, guitarist, musician, and artist who's debuting her album, her, her new album, Divinity Rock. Who both mm -hmm. who know, know her. She opened up for um, Beyonce. She's on tour she Beyonce, also yeah. is one of, uh, you know, Nona Hendrix, a famous musician. And um, there's also, a, these are like quality people that I'm giving, you know, it's not, you know, just quality people. I mean, everybody's quality, you know what I'm saying? But these are named people that, um, and, and also, I think in terms of Broadway, I mean, you know, Broadway and beyond, you know, we did that panel. Mm -hmm. But I also think um, most of the audiences come from over the river, over the river to grandma's house we go. And I think that we have, I think that we have been very, not snobbish, we treated the, the outer boroughs like stepchildren, yet they bring all the money and resources in to mm -hmm. keep Broadway working. 
Mm-hmm. So, and there, and you know, I mean, because coming to the city, you have to have parking, you know, they make the trek, you know, to keep things going. And, and I think that if they know, I think they would rather, I think that they would like night, night, rather just stay on the other side of Jersey. There's a lot of people that live in Jersey and Brunswick and New Brunswick and stuff. And the, and the facility is just amazing, you know, so it's like going to MJ, they go to MJ Pack, so now they can go to N. Yeah, and that and that was going to be my next point to let everybody know where they can uh, see some of the activities uh, for the festival and, and the free and the family series, um, and how they can find out more about it. Because I'm assuming they can go to the website and and, and get a full schedule. All of our shows are uh, at www.crossroadstheatercompany.org. A little slower, Peg. A little slower. <laughs> a little slower. So if you head to www.crossroadstheatercompany.org, and theater is spelled with R-E, T-H-E-A-T-R-E. Um, all of our shows, all of the shows in the festival are there. And, um, you know, if, if, I, if you don't mind my saying, um, it, it's always a special thrill to see that all of the festival shows lined up. Um, and all of it is, you know, valuing, centering, and celebrating Black artists and creatives. Um, and, and we don't. And it's again, we don't, the thing is that we always say we're not telling people we can't make people go to the shows, but at least we can make them aware of it. You do have mm-hmm. choices, mm-hmm. you know. So, and this is a great way to, you know, just great. You you have a choice. You can stay home. And 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 in the opening theatrical. Um, show is um, we have Sweet Honey in the Rock is uh, th- that that's that's the concert, but because it's Crossroads Theater, um, we're gonna have two weeks of Daniel Beatty, Daniel Coy Beatty, and Daniel is doing that emergency. He plays all those characters. He I just, was I was gonna ask what yeah. are some of the additional highlights because I knew oh. there were some some major yeah. highlights. You mentioned Divinity Rocks with a special performance as a part of this uh, Sweet Honey in the Rock. Uh, with amazing Grammy Award winning, you know, uh, group uh, will be performing. Uh, Emergency, I've seen Emergency a, a couple of uh. different times. And Daniel Beatty it has won numerous awards for, for it. And at some point, I'm sure that will be on Broadway as well. It is one of those tour de force shows. Well, I, I know I'm a Broadway Tony winner and all that, but I, I just, you know, the comfort of sitting in a house that people want to be in it because Broadway has gotten to the point that people say, Oh, I want to see, like, if I have a show with Al Pacino, which is called China doll, if I have a show with Kerry Washington, it was called American son. Mm-hmm. They don't know what the show is. Mm-hmm. They say, I want to see the Kerry Washington show. I want to see, you know, so I want to go back to those days. I want to see a show that's going to make me feel good. Right. You, know, you know? Yeah. What are some of the peg? Can you share some of the other highlights of, of the festival? We mentioned a couple, but if there are a couple of others that just come off the top of your Jake head, knows that. Yeah, I know the highlights. They didn't send it to me yet, Marco. <laughs> I, I was afraid. I was afraid I wouldn't get a chance to return back to this. So um, yeah. So very quickly, um, as Irene said, for the family series, we have uh, Divinity Rocks, who is extraordinary. Um, Beyonce's musical director for her last tour. Um, she's uh, she's got an album called Ready Set Go. And we're proud to do to be the um, we're doing a, a little bit of a launch party in honor of that. And she's our first family music artist. Following her on October second is a guy named Fuch, who is um, a social justice poet, music educator, uh, who is um, his purpose is to not to um, to instruct as to learn, but um, very infectious move, uh, music that um, you know that drops a lot of knowledge into it um, as, as as part of his whole aesthetic. And then uh, closing us out is a Brooklyn-based group called Brown Rice Family. They're a a, a fresh global roots band. Um, And uh, they have sort of an Afro-Latin influence uh, and Mm. and just a solid dance party for young audiences. Um, So our family series is, we we encourage, and that's free, and we encourage everyone to come out and see it. You know, New Brunswick is only an hour outside of New York City. So all the time that we spend on the train to go see shows in New York City, it's such an easy reverse commute. Mm. 
Yeah. Um, and and just an hour north of Philadelphia, we're we're really centrally, we're, we're perfectly located. Well, um, I'm glad you mentioned Philadelphia and 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 additional parts because we are you know on the internet, you know, mm -hmm. we're on you know we're on radio, we're on internet radio. We'll be the this interview will also be on YouTube, so people will be watching from all over or listening from all over and have a chance to hopefully you know go and participate in the festival. Which is my cue to ask you to give the website again. Absolutely. Slowly. Yes. www.crossroadstheatercompany.org. And also, I want, you know, because, you know, Marco, you are part of our our team in Harlem Week. Not only is Peg and, and, and Ricardo and, and this wonderful woman named Monica uh, Weeks, they're also not ignoring the community. The whole thing that I'm consulting is because there are people that are right across the street that don't know mm -hmm, that they're allowed mm -hmm. to play in that sandbox. And I have to commend, I'm, I'm saying this on the air, um, that I have to commend Peg and Monica of the job that they're doing, reaching out. And if anybody is listening to the show, go to the website, call Peg or Monica. If you have some groups that you want to bring, you know, um, family series, you know, take a bus, you know, just let them know that you because if there's no family to support the series, then, you know, what's, you know, we, you know, you all, everyone's welcome. That's what I'm saying. Everyone's welcome. That's a shout and tell us Irene sent you. Absolutely. We'd love now, to have you. Is this the first year of the family series? This is not the first year, is it? It is actually. So oh, this wow. is our first year in full production at NB Pack at New Brunswick Performing Arts Center. And uh, it is the inaugural season of Crossroads Festival Theater. Yeah. Crossroads Family Series. Um, is there an actual start and end date uh, for the series itself or, or the festival, as it were? The whole festival starts off with our first preview of When Day Comes with the we, we could have spent a whole program talking just about uh, Sweet Honey and the Rock. Absolutely. Sure. Which Rick is directing in something, right? Rick, has, Rick is directing and is uh, writing in collaboration with them. So mm. um, if, if anyone has just seen our ads and thought, and thought, oh, sweet honey, you know, I've seen them. They're, they're really great. You have not seen them like this. Please come see them. I, you will not be disappointed. It's going to be just so stunning. And, uh, and that kicks off the festival. Which, which day does that kick off the festival? Wednesday, September 22nd. Okay. And then what I really love is um, the second week in the festival, you know, we're going to have our family series in the morning. You could spend a whole day at Crossroads, bring your little ones to the free family Saturdays, then, uh, you know, get them back and safely home, come back to the matinee and of, of, of uh, when day comes, go have some dinner, come back and go to the evening show of emergency. And it's that fantastic Mm. holistic experience when you walk into when you walk into New Brunswick Performing Arts Center you know where you are and why you were there and um, also, the I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm sorry, sorry to cut you off but I just no. want to say how educational it is like Daniel's piece emergency he he gets off the slave ship and he's landing in New Jersey on the docks and he could, goes back to the history and not, and and so the the shows that they're there that uh, that have been presenting is also educational informative because i think that's what theater should be that's what performances should be not just performing that you can take something away from you that you didn't know you know so it, it, and it, so that's that's another reason i'm involved with crossroads well, it's edutainment. That's a, it's a term that I've been I've borrowed and I, I use it quite a bit. Edutainment, education and entertainment. So. Education, entertainment and euphoria. Yes. I just made that up. Okay. I mean, what does euphoria mean anyway? Let me write that down. <laughs> Look it up. <laughs> well, well, Peg, Irene, thank you so much for, for coming on and sharing this information. Again, um, the Crossroads uh, Theater uh, Festival Free Family Series, uh, please check it out. First activity is Sweet, hum Sweet Honey in the Rock, September 22nd. But there's so many things going on that you want to bring the family to. And again, you can go to the website, CrossroadsTheaterCompany.com. You got it. Okay, Crossroads Theater Company with dot com theater with the R E T H A T R E uh 
Company.com. And uh, we hope all of you uh, make your way to New Jersey, the Crossroads, to, to enjoy uh, this first uh, festival, this first family series taking place. And Irene, again, many thanks and congratulations Thank on you. a well-deserved Tony Award recognition.